I can't sleep at all. It's like four in the morning. I don't know, I think I just, I don't do enough through the day and when the night comes, I just, I don't feel like sleeping. Please send help. I thought I might as well just like do some sort of um, vlog. So fun. Um, so yeah, this is my room. Um, and I can't sleep. Sleep. Oh, I've tried so many things. I've tried reading. I was reading the ABC Murders by Agatha Christie, and it didn't help one bit. Um, speaking um, not very loud because my parents are awake, uh, sleeping right now. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't know. You know when you feel like super restless but you don't know what to do about it because you don't feel like doing anything? I feel so restless but I don't feel like reading, I don't feel like painting, I don't feel like watching YouTube, I don't feel like watching Netflix, I don't feel like doing anything and it's 4 in the morning, it's 4 in the goddamn morning. So the thing is my dream is to have one copy of Jane Eyre for each decade since its publication, which is <laughs> insane and very, very expensive. The oldest one I've got is um, 1888, if I'm correct. So I'm going to show you the books that I have in my collection of Jane Eyre. And I'm gonna save the manuscript for last because it's the biggest one and most exciting. So I don't know why I'm doing this in a vlog way. I think it's just because I can't sleep. So let's do it. So this is the shelf where I collect my Jane Eyre's. It's um, full to the brim, nowhere else to go. I'm gonna have to find another shelf to put them in. And right there in the middle is my baby, the manuscript of Jane Eyre, which I'm gonna show it to you guys. Um, I'm gonna open it and show it to you guys. So this is the first one I have. It's um, pretty beat up, um, but it's beautiful. I love it to bits. I found it on online. It's pretty good condition for its age. And um, we have it here. A little illustration and the year of its publication, which is 1888. And it's still by Kerbel, not um, Charles Bronte. So yeah, this is the oldest one I got. Next one I have is this one um, from the 30s. Very well preserved also, very beautiful. I think this is like the receipt. I buy these mostly on um, the internet. So here you go, 1933. 
has this little thing in the cover. This is one of my favorites. This one is actually very special to me. It comes in a box. Um, it's 1940s. A uh, fun story, I actually bought this twice because the first one was so banged up that I actually used the um, illustrations and made these um, for my wall. So when you open it, you get Charlotte in one side and so Rochester in the other it's very well um, uh, illustrated I love that it has a, a name here I think it's Sheila Allen 1950 so Jane Eyre, and it says here, copyright 1942, and it has very beautiful um, illustrations, as I said. If I'm not entirely mistaken, I think this one is from the 60s. It has very like Bible like pages, so it's very thin. It has a full leather cover, it's really, really beautiful. This is, in my opinion, a very well-preserved copy from the 80s. Look how this spine is beautiful. The pages are yellowed, of course, but it's beautiful. Oops. Um, it even came with a reader, Reader's Digest little pamphlet from the time. Let's see. Yeah, 84. Copyright 84. So I'm guessing this one also has. Yes. Illustrations and find them. Actually, really like these, they're very gothic.
this is a really weird scene when Mr. Rochester dresses up as a as a woman like a fortune teller and <laughs> in every movie and adaptation they just cut this the scene out because it's really weird oh look at this this is beautiful this is so sweet I love it so yeah this is my 80s version now for the modern ones I'm not gonna bother taking it out of the plastic this is a penguins popular classic Jane Eyre this one I kind of just had to have because I really love this movie um, I think the actors portrayed them so very well and it's just a book with um, the cover of the movie. So this one is a Dover Thrift Edition um, copy of Jane Eyre. And these are really like disposable. Because I don't know what they're made of, but they get really yellowed, like they worse they they look worse than the the ones that I got from 1930. I don't know. I think they use not very good quality paper. So that's what happens, but I like the cover. And you know, it is a collection. <laughs> this one I got in the British Library when I was there in London and it's just the cutest little thing. It's the Knicker, Knicker Brocker Classics. It even comes with a string like this so you can put here in the book but I'm afraid it will damage the edges it's really really pretty and inside is just a normal book but it's more like a wider page than the normal ones it's really really beautiful It has this uh, cloth bound cover. It's very, very, very beautiful. So this one I got fairly uh, recently, but I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> it is so pretty. It got sprayed edges, like orange sprayed edges. So pretty belongs to I would never write in it it's got beautiful um, illustrations also we got the Bronte family tree look at that I hadn't seen that before and yeah It's also cloth bound. It's very pretty. It's fine. This one is kind of a novelty one because it's an art folds one, and if you fold it the way, um each page tells you to fold it uh, um, form the word read when you put it like this it would form the word read but 
I just kept it as a book <laughs> to myself and it's really sturdy so that's great it has um, beautiful simple cover dark uh, darkened pages hardcover just another one in my endless collection so this one I got because as soon as I looked at it I fell in love instantly because it is stunning look at this I mean just take a little a little peek at this it is the most beautiful, beautiful book I've ever seen. Even the pages are glossy. It's amazing. It's really, really beautiful. Look at the spine. The flowers are in um, so it's just a very very pretty um, penguin English library edition that has the stripes on the sides people will collect these and it seems like they have like a bunch of books but no it's because of the stripes on the sides but the cover is very cute this uh, edition is the penguin drop caps so B is for Bronte Jane, uh, Jane Eyre the A was for um, Austin but unfortunately, the spine is all sun bleached. It broke my heart. <laughs> it's really pretty with um, sprayed edges and everything. But yeah, you get that sometimes. Okay, so this one was one went that when I knew existed, I just had to have it. It's literally a cutout, you see? It's just so precious. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. So you can see here, if I take, oh my God. <laughs> I forgot that there was a, uh, A bookmark so beautiful if you take off the plastic you can see that it's actually a cut off of the cover inside it has like this it's really really beautiful I feel like I've said it's really really beautiful like a hundred <laughs> freaking times but yeah so now for my beautiful folio editions folio society um, this one is the current one you just know that when you buy a folio society book it's for the rest of your lifetime they're made with such care 
the illustrations are so beautiful. Look at Violet. There's one illustration, this one particularly, that I love. It's so, so sweet. So sad at the same time. And I also have this one that I got online which is from 1994 um, it's a folio edition from 1994 look at this effect um, but I was so stupidly excited to open it that I actually cut myself on the box cutter and this is my blood on it So it says here that it's um, 1994 It has some um, illustrations here and there This is when Bertha uh, bites his, her brother A little sun bleach but nothing compared to the penguin drop caps this is a Simon & Schuster um, mass protected um, little book This one, the spine is so beautiful. That's basically why I bought it. Oh, this one I love, 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 love the cover and the whole aesthetic of it. I think it's vintage. Yeah, vintage classics. Beautiful. You'd be doing a great um, buy if you decide to buy this one for you. This one is very pretty. Then there's this manga <laughs> that I bought of Jane Eyre. It's not the greatest, but you know. I had to have it, I had to read it. A Penguin's Classic, Charlotte Bronte. With very vivid um, cheeks. <laughs> a normal peng penguin classic this one is actually um, annotated so it's a Norton Norton critical edition and it's just like uh, the annotated Pride and Prejudice so the next time I read Jane Eyre I'm gonna read this one um, with the annotations This is the Everyman Libraries edition. It's beautiful without the dust jacket. I'm going to show it to you guys. It has a little ribbon. I'm not a big fan of ribbons, but <laughs> some people are. 
so it's a very this very beautiful burgundy as all in all uh, every men library editions are this is actually a very good book to annotate because the margins are really big you see This one is actually very near and dear to my heart because it was gifted to me by my brother. <laughs> um, it's... Oops. It's a... Uh, I think a... Bar Barnes and Noble edition. But it's... The time hasn't been very good to it, see? But anyway... Like this, without the... the dust jacket. See, my brother wrote to me. It's like that. It's a shame that the ocean air started already to corrode the paper. When I tell you the ocean air does these things, you gotta believe in me. And this um, encased in plastic, so... This is one of my favorite editions. It's a Barnes & Noble. Look at these end papers, for Christ's sake. It's super gothic, it's beautiful. And it's got sprayed edges, like this blood color. I love this one very much. The spine is also beautiful. But the cover is amazing. This is one of the Bronte sisters I bought in uh, Portugal, in Lisbon. I just, every time I travel I have to get a Jane Eyre, <laughs> any way I can get it. And it's so shiny. <laughs> And this, my friends, is the manuscript, the facsimile of the manuscript of Jane Eyre. It comes in three volumes. It's from Aspie Books in France. Took a while to get here, but it was really worth it. So you take out the first... Focus, please. Take out the first volume. And it's just a brush of fresh air. They make, I think, like a thousand of each, so you get the number of yours. Right here. And so it starts. In her handwriting, Jane Eyre, Volume One, because when it was first um, published, um, I love that she put Jane Eyre by Carabell, and then she um, so it's eighteen forty-seven, March sixteenth. And she starts 
the book, chapter 1. There was no possibility of taking a walk that day. Oh my god, it gives me chills. So, this is it. I'm only going to show you guys the first one so you can get the idea. It's really, really beautiful. And that's how it goes. Because you know the, the first time it was published, it was published in three volumes. Most, most novels were published in three volumes like that at the time. And she sent these three volumes to the publisher so they can be published. And that's it. That's the facsimile of Jane Eyre. I just I can't I can't seem to want to close it. Just looking at the the name with her handwriting is out of this world. So yeah, it's um, morning now, it's daylight, and I'm sorry the video took so long. Um, it's getting to be a big collection, so that's why. And I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day and an awesome week, and see you soon.